It's a woman's worst nightmare, catching her husband in bed with someone else. Today, wives face off with the other woman as they confront their husband's mistress for the very first time. Your husband was having an affair. Barbara says, you're clapping to that, sir? <laughs> Barbara says that she knows for sure about two of her husband Dana's mistresses and has a good idea that there are at least five or six more. <laughs> Dana says that he cheats because he loves women and needs sex three times a day, just like his meals. <laughs> now, Barbara, we're gonna give you an opportunity to confront one of his mistresses, but tell us, how did you learn to find out that he was cheating? Well, one day he had took me to the doctor because I was pregnant, and then he left me there and said he had to go do some things, and so I had to find me a way home. And when I got there, there was a whole bunch of cars there. And I went in there, I said, why can't you come pick me up? And he just like blew me off. So then I was like, okay, which one in the front room is you seeing? So he was like blowing it off. So I went on in the bathroom and then he came in there and he brought her in there to me. Yeah. And we just went at it. We went at it. He was asking me if I had anything to say to her, and I was like, yeah. I was like, you think you can do him? No, my question is, what did you say to him? Uh, I was like, I can't believe you're doing this to me. Who do you think you are? Dana, the obvious question, why do you cheat? Well, you know, um, <laughs> it's just uh, no, something a man got to do. Yes, we do. Hey. You yes. shouldn't have married me Let me tell you something. The same thing that happened to me, if I, if, if I was you, he would have been history a long time ago. Oh. Yeah. He is. He is history. He's history, girl, because I didn't already file for divorce. He is out. I mean, because I was going to ask you, why do you stay with him? I fought for a divorce. I'm not going through this mess no more. I deserve something better than what he's giving me. But you are here, you're here today to confront one of his mistresses, Bridget. Tell yeah. us a little bit about her. The girl is a tramp. She does not respect her body. Otherwise, why would she be seeing him and two or three other people, too? And a girlfriend just, she ain't got no mind. You know, if she had a mind, she wouldn't be doing stuff like that. Yeah, yes. I think you stand up for your rights and you did the right thing. Thank you. Thank you. Is this for real, Dana? I mean... Yes. <laughs> I mean, why did you get married in the first place? If you wanted to just play around and have, you know, three different women, like, three different meals. Uh, well, when I got married, it was, um... You know, it was like a pressure thing, you know, with the family. You know, we was, we was living together. No, no, listen, we was living together. We was living together for two years, and uh, they were saying that, you know, they, that it wasn't right for us to be, to be living together because we wasn't married and all. You know, she was pregnant. So you didn't love her? Oh, I loved her. <laughs> yeah. All you right. still didn't have to marry me if you didn't want to be married. Yeah, are you ready? Are you ready to meet Bridget? Mm -hmm. <laughs> now, before we bring her out, let's hear, let's hear what she had to say about you, all right? Okay. I fell in love with Dana, but it wasn't my fault. He should have been honest in the first place. Hmm, all right, Bridget, come on out. I am so You do not know what love is. You was not in love with him. It was nothing but lust. Are you in love with him, Bridget? No, at first I thought I was, but after I realized how he really was, then hell no. Excuse my friends, but no. 
So why did you get involved with him knowing that he was a married man? Uh, first of all, he told me he was divorced. And then he changed his mind and told me, well, the divorce is almost final. It should be final in a few days. So I was like, well, if you're going to get a divorce, and I told him up front, I said, I am not going to be the cause no, of your divorce. No, Even if no, you knew no, no. that he was still married to me, okay, he was not divorced, you know what that deal is because you're going through the same thing. So you should not even try to talk to him. No, what do you mean no, she's going not, through the same thing? It's not the she's same not thing. divorced. <laughs> So you're married yeah. too. Right, but this is a totally different. My husband walked out on me when I was pregnant. I have not seen him. I don't know where he's at. Now you, well, you still you should have enough decency not to go and see somebody that is married. If he would have been honest with me in the first place, then we wouldn't be in this mess now. No, no, Bridget, what know. happened? You saw Dana a couple weeks ago. What happened? He said that he still loved me. He asked me if I'd marry him and if we were still going to get an apartment. Mm, okay. What do you think about that, Barbara? Well, while he was sitting up there telling her that, he was coming over my house telling about he wanted to be back with me. Dana, what do you have to say for yourself? You need to talk about this. Well, I love women, all right? I'm out to win, hearts not breaking, all right? And... All right, let me just throw this out to you, Dana. How would you feel I mean, which is the woman you love at this point? Do you love, I, you love Barbara? Yeah, she's got my two kids. But what about telling Bridget that you want to marry her two weeks ago? At the time, things were kind of hectic then, and... Oh. A lot happens in two weeks. Well, yeah. So, okay, so let me just, let me just throw this out to you. You're married to Barbara, you love Barbara. How would you feel if she wanted another guy on the side because she just likes sex with different men? Thank you. Hey, it'd be the same as what she's doing, too. Oh. I don't think so. He wouldn't you, have it, huh, Barbara? He would not even buy that. Yeah, so do you want to get back together with Bridget? <laughs> In a way, yes, I do. Do you think you could get back together with Bridget? If we talk and work things out, I think I can. Well, I'm glad I fought for a divorce because I ain't going through this mess again. Yes. I assume you're having sex with them. Are you protecting yourself? Yes. Wait a minute. One says yes, the other says no. No. <laughs> Dana, you do know what year this is and what is yeah. going on? Yes, I do. Yes, I do. There's something called AIDS. I mean, I how I'm... would you feel, Dana, if you gave the AIDS virus to the woman you love, Barbara? Mm. Well, <laughs> see, not all the time that I'm messing around that I'm not using one of them, uh... <laughs> that shows how much he uses. So, Barbara, you're here eye to eye with Bridget. How are you feeling? I am just through. It just to look at her makes me mad to know that he would go for something like her. Okay? Hey, hey, I'm not conceding nothing, but I do think I got a little crap. A tramp, and you have no right. You to do have a tramp. If you're gonna see him no, and who, 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 whoever you else you were seeing too. Uh, no, you don't know who I was seeing. But I sure do know some names. You just don't want me to tell them. Oh yeah. <laughs> so, Barbara, I, like I mean, you seem name. like you're really over this. Are you really through with him? I am really through. I just can't even take it no more, and I don't feel like. I should have to go through this. You shouldn't, yes. As far as I'm concerned, she can do a lot better than him. And as for those two, they deserve each other cheating on each other's spouses. All right, we're going to take a break. Believe it or not, audience, there is more to this story. Notice the empty chair? We'll find out who that belongs to when we come back. Stay with us. Now, I, I just, a little bird whispered in my ear during the break, you too, Barbara and Dana, were in fact intimate while you're in New York. 
Yes, we were. So, I mean, are you just giving us lip service or are you really going to pack up and move out? Well, he doesn't live with me or anything like that anymore. And our, fi our divorce will be final soon in a couple of weeks or so. so but are I'm, you still, you know, why, were you, why were you sleeping with him? He asked. He asked? And our anniversary, our anniversary was yesterday. That's why I... Why you chose to do that. I mean, do you feel like you're taking a backward step? Every time you do something like that, you're sending him mixed signals that you're going to put up with this, that you're going to actually condone him sleeping with other women? No, I don't, I don't condone that at all. It was, it was our anniversary, and we was together, and I just thought I would. Yes, stand up. I probably shouldn't have, but... <laughs> Why did you get married? Pressure is not something to get married for. If you were a real man, you would not be pressured by marriage. Well, in the beginning, I thought that this is, you know, this is what I wanted to do, all right? Um, I mean, I cared about her. I loved her. You know, she was about to have my kid. I wanted to spend the rest of my life with her. But don't you have a conscience? Hey, I just, I just love females, you know? That's, I'm sorry. Please. I'm sorry. And, and there's, there's one more female to this story, and we're going to bring her out. Are you excited to, to meet this new person? All right. Tracy, come on out. from Tracy. Tracy, uh, you are friends with Barbara. Yes. How do you fit into the story? I'm Dana's other mistress. <gasps> I cannot believe you're doing this to me. I don't believe you're doing this to me. How, how could you, you do this to, about your, to your friend? I'm sorry? How could you do something like this? You're sleeping with her husband, your friend's husband. This had happened before me and her became close. So, so you continue to lie to her and to get close to her knowing that you were sleeping with her husband? Yeah, we've partied together. She's watched my kids. Everything. <laughs> Sounds to me like the ultimate betrayal. Yes. You just don't know how bad you three ladies look compared to he got you all playing a fool. And for you, G, there's two women. got me playing a fool because I'm telling I you, first, divorce. I'm first, through. Well, first of all, two days ago, two, well, two days ago you slept with them and you still have the wedding ring on. Okay, but third thing for you, G, there's too many Debbie dads in the world. Obviously, you're just another one. Yes, girlfriend, you need to leave him, take your kids, and go on because you don't need him. He can't do nothing for you. Look at them. Look at them, right. too. Yeah, right. <laughs> I take care of mine, believe that. I take care of mine. Can I just ask all three, any of you ladies can answer this, what is so fabulous about Dana? At first, he'll play it out to be a nice guy and all this, but after all these lies, I mean, uh-uh, I don't think so. There's not a thing fabulous and about Bridget, him. And Bridget, you used to be friends with Tracy also. Uh, this is my so-called best friend. <laughs> What do you want to say, Tracy? Whenever uh, her and Dana first started talking, uh, she told me she did not like him, and she was telling no, me how no, short he was. Yes, you, you told me to go no. after him. No, yes, that you is did. a lie. Yes, you mm -hmm. did. That me is and a him lie. was just friends. Uh -uh. You mm -hmm. told me that you wanted him. I told you you weren't going to get him because he was mine. Uh -huh. He wasn't yours. He was mine. Yeah. He told me he was divorced. That's when mm -hmm. this occurred. Mm -hmm. Yes, honey, you believe what you want, but you see now, don't you? Please. All right, all right. what do you want to say? I just want to y'all sitting up there arguing over him. This man is not even worth the time of day. He had played y'all for a fool. You girlfriend should not have had sex. I don't care if it was your fifth anniversary because this man is a walking AIDS machine. He don't even know the name of a partner. No. You disgust me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, we have the cops. Oh well. Yeah, 
Tracy, Tracy, do you want to be with this man? I did. Do you? You did, and you see how he's doing me, and then with Bridget, you wanted to be with him? I wanted to. Tracy. But I'm, I'm dating somebody now. You're dating someone else now. So you're not sleeping with Dana anymore? <laughs> Busted. Um, okay. Dana, Dana okay. You, you, you told my producers that, that you were only using Tracy for sex. Dig yourself out of this one. <laughs> Dig yeah. It. All right. Um, things ain't working out the pad. You know. You know. Me and Trace are friends. Friends and about we... what? What? And then working at the pad because you don't live with me. Well. <laughs> I mean. Whenever. Barbara. I'm happen. sorry to, to to say this, but you 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 seem to be really outraged, but yet you have a smile on your face. I'm just, I'm just going to go through to this divorce is final, and then I am just through with them. I just can't believe that. I just, I just can't believe this stuff going on here. It's just. Yeah, stand up, please. Why don't? Or, what, what would you do if one of them got pregnant? What would you do? How would you feel? Take care of that one too. How are you going to take care of something and you don't, you don't even care about none of them? You I didn't, say I, didn't, care. I didn't say I didn't care about none of them. What about these two? These two right here? Yeah. What are you going to do about those two? These two right here? Yeah. Do you care they about them? They're close to my heart, too. <laughs> and they, the boy I, it has an awfully big heart. heart. Yeah, stand up, matter. please. Yes. Yes, what it do you want to say? Matter. My question is, how come you say love when you don't even know how to love someone because you just keep going around Thank and around you. in a circle? Thank you. Keep That's running what around. I told him. I told him he does not know the definition of love. Does not know. He doesn't know the definition of love. No. But you can say honestly, here and now, today, you're through with him. I am through with him. Good for you, girl. Next, the guy who says that men were born to cheat and will cheat until the day they die. We'll be right back. gentleman has something to say, yes. Um, you know, in the Bible it says, when a man finds a wife, he finds a good thing. And for you to do that to that woman, if you saw, her with, if you saw another man with your good thing, believe me, you're gonna feel it, my man. All right. Is it possible for a man to be faithful? James says that it's a man, in a man's genes for him to cheat, and that one woman can't satisfy a man. Also joining us is Eve. She found out about her fiance's affair three weeks before her wedding. She says any woman who would go after a taken man is either desperate or getting paid like a prostitute. Oh. Eve, tell me what you think of these mistresses. I think they're tramps, especially this one. If you're supposed to be her friend, you shouldn't be sleeping with her man. should seriously get an AIDS test. I'm serious. Oh, you, say, you admit that you're having sex with unprotected, you know, protecting yourself, then you should seriously have an AIDS test. Because you is what's gonna be passing around in your children's generation, okay? So you speak from experience, Eve. What happened to you? Um, my best friend um, wore my outfit to go out with my fiance when I was going to pick up my wedding gown. Now I'm very glad she did because, you know, I found somebody else who's a hundred times better and knows what love is. Thank you. Okay? That's exactly what I'm looking for. And she's, she's out wishing she had a man, but, you know, that was it. Okay. And James, you said that one, wo one woman can't satisfy a man. Well, I'm coming up 25 years old, okay? I have no intention to get married. I do believe that once you're married, when you find that special woman, whether it be, for me, three years down the line or 20 years down the line, you should be faithful. But at 25 years old, I have no intentions on doing that. So if I see a girl that I like, I'm going to go out with her and have fun with her, and then I'm going to go out with another girl if there's no commitment okay, there. Okay, I, That's I hear I'm what you're from. saying. You should not get married. You should not get married if you're going to go around and fool around. That's why I'm a single guy. So, but do you, do you, 
You don't blame Dana? I don't blame Dana. I'm saying that he shouldn't be married if he's doing what he's doing, to be right. honest with you. I'm a single guy, I'm having fun, but I don't have any commitment, so it's, it's perfectly okay with me. Because so, I don't have a commitment, I didn't commit to anything. So you don't, you don't have a girlfriend at all? I don't have a steady, serious girlfriend, no. I see so, different girls. And they girls. know about each other? Excuse me? They know about each other, the, uh, the it's, girls? It's not even that they know about each other, it's not their business, because it's, it's not, it hasn't come to that yet. <laughs> You know what I'm saying? You ain't gonna find nobody if you're gonna just go but around I'm not looking for anybody right now. I'm not looking for anybody right now. He's honest, I guess. Yeah. Yes. Okay. I have a question for Dana. Do you love yourself and respect yourself? Yes, I do, 100%. If you respect yourself and if you love yourself and your wife, you wouldn't do this because, first of all, you love your body and you love yourself. And marriage, if you have a problem with sex and that's where your wife is there for you, discuss it with her. And if the, she, she's short of something, this where communication comes in. So, wait a minute, let me see. You're saying that, that he's sleeping around because he has low self esteem and he yeah, needs to boost yeah. up his ego? You won't go around doing this to yourself because you're doing it to yourself. And to others and the ladies, if you respect yourself, you look at yourself and even doesn't matter what it is, you look in the mirror, you admire yourself, you accept yourself for what you are. And if you respect yourself, you wouldn't go through You wouldn't put up with this. No. All right. Yes. Um, this is for Dana. Um, I think you want the best of all three worlds because you have a skinny, ugly one. <laughs> oh. <laughs> a fat, ugly one. And your wife is the prettiest one up there. And I think you should have stayed with her. And she has your kids. Okay? So you should have stayed with your wife. All right, I appreciate your comment, but we don't need to make fun of people and call names, okay? <laughs> yes. Ma'am, stand up. I want to ask Dana, um, why is it that you're laughing and joking like this is cute? It's not cute to be sleeping around with all them people. Yeah, I mean, that's a good question. Dana, why are you here today? Hey, she asked, she asked me if I was willing to do it, and I told her I would. Because, no, but, but, but you know, why? after I mean, this, I was, well, I was thinking that, you know, put all this behind us and just start it all over. You got to, uh, you can't do that. Because so all this, you, all this that. happened, you know, back. So, it, are it, you a changed man? Yeah, now I have been, yes. But then yes, you've said this many times. I, I, yeah, but many times, and I mean, saying it and doing it is two different things, huh? Bridget, is he a changed man? There's no way he could change in five weeks. There's no way. We've been broken up for five weeks. I don't think so. But have you heard or seen have... me out with anybody else, though, have you? But no, I think you, you were with Tracy. Her. What about Tracy? Tracy, you know, we're friends. We, you know... Friends don't have sex. More than friends. Friends don't have sex. That's right. Friends don't have sex. And let's not forget that two weeks ago you asked Bridget to marry you. Yeah, because we, because she said that me and her, you know, things was over. You know, divorce was final. Then why not stay single? Why not be the party boy and sleep around, do whatever you're gonna do? Don't commit to another woman. He doesn't have an answer to that one. All right. Yes. Ricky, I have a question for these two people right here. If you, if you knew that he was married, why did you do this? In other words, you come out here and you're saying you're ready to be a slut. Like exactly. a whore. You come out here and you act like you're ready to be a whore. If, you, if that's what it is, you don't belong. You belong on 42nd Street. All right, next. A wife confronts a woman who not only slept with her husband, she had his baby. We'll be right back. mistress, but also had a baby with her. That's what happened with our next two guests. Tabitha and Shannon have been married for two and a half years and have two children, a two-year-old boy and a nine-month-old girl. But Shannon also has a ten-month-old boy with his mistress, Shelly, who we'll meet in a minute. Uh, what did you do when you found out that Shannon had another baby with another woman? Well, I went hysterical. Um... I just kept picturing us going through Lamaze, what it's about having kids with someone. It's not about having sex with whoever you want and if they get pregnant, they have a kid. It's not about that. It's a sharing thing. It's a way to express love. So when I found out about that baby, which was just a few months ago, I just, everything went through my mind. It was devastating. Shannon. What do you have to say for yourself? I mean, why do you cheat? Uh, it's not that I do cheat. It's that 
I did, you know. Um, <laughs> I mean, because I've I've realized a lot of things, you know, in our in our relationship and stuff, and if you know. But why couldn't you have realized that before you married this woman? We were young. Uh, I was very immature, and. Um, and so you're saying that you've changed? Yeah, I have. How long has it been since you've, you've been with Shelly? Uh, about a year, I guess. So it's been quite some time. What do you think of Shelly, Tabitha? She, uh, it's not what I think. I know she's a whore. If, um, <laughs> if uh, you pick someone's husband, you must not be woman enough to get your own. She, she knew what she was doing. Are you She's, ready to confront her today? Yes. You are? Yes. All right, before we bring her out, let's, let's hear what Shelly had to say. Shannon and I had a lot of fun together, and we had great sex, and I don't regret having a baby with him at all. <laughs> Shelly, come on out. What do you want to say to her? You're here. Um, great sex. You don't know what it is about. You don't know what a relationship is about. You are, your mind is messed up. And you don't have regret having a baby. That shows what kind of mother you are. If you don't regret having a father that's going to be around, if you think you can just, you know, have a baby with someone, you don't regret, no big deal. Just have, what, you just pick someone, it don't matter to you? No, that's not it at all. I love my son very much. I have no regrets for him whatsoever. I'm sorry that his father isn't around. He has a daddy, but he doesn't have a father. Well, he does, but he doesn't know him. And what did you expect when you found, when you pick uh, someone that's married and already has a baby and you're off with the father while he's up all night long and the mother's taking care of him? Yeah, Shelley, what did what you, did you think? Shelly, what did you think uh, when he was coming on to you, or whatever happened, that, that he was a married man? Didn't you think about that? When Shannon and I first met, he told me that him and his wife had just gotten divorced. And then, the and then he told me that they were still living together, but only because she had no place else to go, but they had not slept together or actually had a relationship in over four months. You gotta be stupid to believe that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. You gotta be not only well, a tramp, but well, stupid. No, it's what it is. You, I got your calendar right here. You have a diary? It's, yes. <laughs> it's like a diary. Let's, let's, let's read from it. Open it on up. <laughs> okay. Um, see, she met him April 26th. This is May uh, 22nd. I was so surprised I was sitting there watching TV when Shannon showed up. I stayed at his apartment for the first time. The sex was awesome, but just being with him meant more than I can ever begin to describe. Waking up in Shannon's arms was great, but I didn't sleep very well. Can I ask well, a general question? Why, why do people in general, everybody up here, I mean, when I said I like to go out with different people, this and that, why do you get involved? with people that are married. There are so many other men out there. There are so many other women out there. I'm out there having a good time, but I'm not going out after married women. They're married, I'm out of there. I don't want to be a part of that. Why, why do it? It's gonna cause special. problems, inevitable. They're special if uh, this person's willing to destroy something great. It wasn't for you. It would have been anybody. You are worthless. <laughs> it would have been, it's, it's not about her, and this isn't about him either. I think, um, as far as me and Shannon's concerned, we were high school sweethearts. I was not a whore. I was waiting for marriage to sleep with someone. He's the only one I've ever been with. I will never be with anybody until I'm married again. If I don't get married, then oh well. But there is, there was something there to our relationship. We were high school sweethearts, best friends. We knew each other completely. She thought she knew him. You know, she, she can think all but she wants. She don't... You've been talking, Tabitha and, and Shelly. You've both been talking for quite some time, and he, Shannon has said not virtually me. nothing. He doesn't. <laughs> well, I mean, what, but, do you, what do you have to say, Shannon? I mean, do you not... Do you put the blame solely on Shelly, Tabitha? No, I think men do what they want, women do what they want. He's responsible for what he did. She's responsible for what she did. 
He's the one that he's the one that was my best friend and knew me. And he, betrayed you. Right. But people say, well, everyone can live their life. It doesn't affect. But this is an example. It does affect. Everyone can't, you know, just hurt people and not care. Mm -hmm. They can, Shelly now has his baby. Mm -hmm. I mean, Shelly, do you want your baby to know her two kids? Oh, very much. That means more to me than anything. My son has a right to know his family. He has a brother. He has a sister. Those are his rights. Excuse me. I don't give a my damn about my rights. My son has a daughter. My daughter has a son. Period. That is all there is to it. Now, now I'm not, I didn't, that's the reason why I waited to have sex. I didn't want this little extended family all over, okay? Whether you want it or not, it's there. Oh, look, we're ever going to get together. You Would saw, you ever let your children be with her son? It depends. Um, I don't hold anything against her son, okay? I love kids that it's not his fault. It's really hard to see, I saw a picture of him, to see a picture of a baby that looks like mine and is not mine. I see, all right, we need to take a break. We'll be right back with more. for you your babies one is 10 months old the other is nine months old you you think that maybe you're not the father of this baby there's a chance um, I really don't know for sure I mean you know because the times that we was that this baby was conceived you know you're saying that that what Shelly had a lot of other men at that time well no no, I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that, um... He's basically saying he doesn't want to take responsibility. No, I'm not saying that. If well, it is haven't. my baby, I will take responsibility. So you haven't, you haven't seen this baby in how long, Shelly? Four and a half months. Do you at all give any money for the welfare of the he child? He has bought this baby a toy, and that was when he first moved back to Dayton when he's pregnant, and that is it. <coughs> So what do you, we have, we have pictures, we have uh, pictures from, of your kids, Tabitha and your, your son. What do you think? They, they look alike to me. So Shelly, what are you asking for? What do you want from him? I don't want anything from Shannon. Um, actually, I would like to have a lawyer drop a paper and have him sign custody over me totally. He will not have anything to do with this child. Um, he has not been a father to this baby. If he wants to be my baby's father, which he, Biologically, yes, he is. Mm -hmm. And if he wants to do that, that's great. Let him pay child support. Let him see this baby. Let him take responsibility. But by God, he's going to pay before he sees his child again, because I have gone out of my way on more than one occasion. But, but she can accept that Shannon wasn't coming down to see my kids. She can accept that. She tries to act like she's a victim. She's engaged now. Her fiance probably thinks she's a poor victim. But she is a horse. She tries to say she could, wasn't supposed to be able to get pregnant. Why was she on the pill then? And if she was on the pill, wasn't supposed to be able to get pregnant, then why um, 20 the days before she met him did she think she was pregnant by someone else? So what are you saying? You're saying that she tried to trap she him? She tried, and everyone's going to say, oh, no, women don't do that. She did. Shannon had his responsibility, too, but she tried to get pregnant, please. So, I was on the pill. In fact, the day your aunt found out about me, I was at a doctor's office getting my pills really? renewed. And, but you couldn't get pregnant, so why were you on the pill? I never said I couldn't get pregnant. You didn't say that. No, you I didn't did say not. that. Tabitha, if you were on the pill, how come you have a baby? There are times it when does Phil happen, does... but in her case, that one. All right, Tabitha. Take long change the subject a little bit. Where do you stand with Shannon now? Um, we are in the process of getting a divorce and living together. <laughs> no, we're not living together. Shannon, Shannon, Shannon's around. So you are leaving him over this woman? Not over her, over his cheating. Okay. <laughs> I just wanted to make a point to all the wives, even though your husbands cheat, 
They may have these little flings, but they always gonna come running back to you. That's they're right. They're always gonna come back. That's right. So I wanna make a comment to us, you deserve whatever you get. Hey, I got a beautiful little baby. What more could I ask for? All right, next, a husband and wife who survived cheating in their marriage counsel our couples. Don't go away. get through the trauma of an affair. Joel and Kim Schechter survived infidelities in their marriage and now counsel other couples in conflict. That's great. Now, what, what happened in your particular Well, we've case? been married now for 15 years, but along the way, like most couples, we ended up both having uh, infidelities uh, on each other. And we decided that we wanted to try to get past it and to rebuild our lives. And most people right away turn on you and say, split up, divide, start your life over, you're young. We decided to take the other road, and we worked very hard on, on learning how you can come back and, and rebuild your life. And now we work with other couples who've been through similar situations who want to come back and try to put their families together. Thank you. You know, it's something that the problem is that 65% of the divorces, which is 1.4 million people in America, end up divorcing because of infidelities. So we can sit there and we can keep having an escalated you know, divorce rate. But there are times like us, look, we've been really happy for a lot of years now. We help people get their marriages back together. It doesn't mean that it's over. There's just a lot of trust to rebuild yeah, within the relationship. You, how do you again. go about rebuilding that trust? Well, the first step is you have to kind of get a handle on your own pain and your, your own addiction. I mean, you have to understand that when you're cheating, like Dana is over here, that it, you have almost a need to have somebody all the time giving you attention from the outside. That's something that Dana will have to look at if he wants to go on ever and have some sort of solid relationship in his life. You know, you know Dana's going to have to realize when you say you want to do this three times a day, that's kind of obsessive. I mean, how many things do you do three times a day? You have a tremendous need for sex and not to be alone. And it's something, you know, that you've really got to think about a little bit. Are you addicted to this? It's almost, it's almost this? Like, like a drinking problem or a drug problem, in effect, where you want to start to, to say, why do I need this attention all the time? I shouldn't need that attention. And you know what? I was watching before. I think you're going to be very much, I think you're going to be in a lot of pain alone down the road once, once she makes this decision to go with you. I think you're going to hurt because you don't like to be alone. I think you know Barbara's a good girl and that yes, yes. you could do a lot worse. Yes. Yes. If you take a look at, at you know, at Shannon and Tabitha, and, and we've counseled other couples in this situation, I see a lot of pain over here, and I see two people who just are now kind of in a situation that's almost bigger than they are, and, and it's out of control, and what we try to do with somebody like them is to get them to really feel the pain and not get so distracted by being angry at the mistress, because that anger is, is really only kind of a displaced anger. What you're really angry at is, is that betrayal because of Because you're man. both in a very unique situation. You can't close the door on this infidelity. You're, you've got a really tough road ahead of you if you decide to stay together, which I hope you do, because I got the opportunity to talk to your husband. and. He really loves you. There's just a lot of baggage there and he's that just you've really got to work up. out. Well, I understand. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> now, I understand he has grown a lot lately, yes. but um, I'd rather grow alone because I, he knew what he was doing when he cheated. And but you yourself said that you were young. You were both young when you got married. Well... <laughs> But don't you think you're going to have this trust problem in the next relationship? You, you, know, you can't see, just erase is, it. Oh, I know. I know that's why going to counseling now, because I don't want to get in a relationship and have all this baggage. That's why I deal with everything now, Good. and it's hard. It's really And just smart. a little at a time. But I want, I work too hard at our relationship, and he'll tell you. Um, we didn't just, it wasn't an affair and that's it. I worked hard through everything. Okay, I need to take a break, but would you be so kind as to talk to our couples after the show? Sure. Absolutely. That would be great. All right, we'll be right back. for being here and for being so candid with their stories. If you can't be faithful to the one you love, maybe you don't love them at all. I hope that you all can work through your difficulties and move on to happier chapters of your lives. Thanks for watching. Till next time.